Hi, good morning. I'm Dr. Shilpa. So today's topic, uh, knowing about the third stage of labor. So in our previous videos, we have discussed about labor in detail. So the third stage of labor is a stage where the delivery of the placenta happens. So placenta, as we know, is a, a organ which is there between a mother and the baby as a connection. It supplies nutrition to the baby. It supplies blood to the baby. It supplies the oxygen to the baby, and also it is the main uh, connector between the mother and the baby. And this uh, helps in the maintenance of the baby's health and also growth. Uh, so once the baby is delivered, as you can see here, this is the umbilical cord, and this umbilical cord is the connection between the placenta and the baby. Uh, so the umbilical cord is cut and uh, the baby is handed over to the pediatrician or the baby is made to lie down on the mother's abdomen that is for the skin to skin uh, touch to happen so once the baby is uh, delivered so the baby is handed over to the pediatrician or the baby is made to lie down on the mother's abdomen uh, for the skin to skin uh, contact and uh, the placental uh, separation and delivery is the main thing in the third stage uh, here we give a, a medication or like an injection called uh, syntocinon or oxytocin which will help in the separation of the placenta so there are three things here which we follow which we call it as an active uh, management of the third stage so in active management of the third stage so one of the important steps is to give this injection when the baby's shoulder is getting delivered so this helps in uh, the shortening of the third stage uh, and redu reduction in the bleeding after uh, the delivery of the baby and the placenta so once uh, the injection is given we just wait for uh, the placenta to get separated and uh, we try and avoid any kind of manipulation either through the vaginal route or we try and uh, uh, prevent from anybody pushing from the maternal abdomen to push the placenta out all these things will not work so what we ideally do is we just uh, wait and we give traction counter traction that is we push the maternal abdomen a little up and then slightly pull on the uh, umbilical cord and with this like one step this should be done only after the placenta is separated and uh, once we do this the placenta slowly kind of it comes out and uh, we deliver uh, the placenta and there will be membranes which again like you know which will be attached to the placenta and that will be delivered so once this uh, delivery happens so then we uh, massage the uterus uh, so that uh, the uterus comes back uh, into uh, into a smaller size what we call it as the the involution or like contraction and uh, retraction where uh, the uterus starts reducing in size which was quite distended when the baby was inside and this uh, reduction in the size reduces the blood uh, loss which happens after the uh, delivery so after the placenta is delivered we check for the mother's uh, pulse rate we check for the blood pressure, we check whether the uterus is con uh, contracted, that is whether it has reduced in size and also we check for the bleeding. So if at all, if there is uh, too much of bleeding, then there are a certain uh, uh, steps that we need to follow, which we will discuss in the subsequent uh, video. And uh, after this, then the cut which was given in the second stage for uh, the enlargement of the feet of the maternal pelvis so that cut what we call it as episiotomy that will be sutured using a suture material called vicryl so this is about uh, the third stage of uh, labor which happens normally and in some situations there could be delay in the delivery of the placenta there could be like you know the placenta can get uh, stuck the umbilical cord can be cut off from the placenta and it may be difficult to deliver the placenta and the uh, extreme situation is uh, we may have to deliver the placenta under anesthesia if the umbilical cord is cut or if the placenta is not getting uh, separated and uh, delivered so thank you so much i hope it was uh, useful i'll come back with more informative videos in my subsequent uh, uh, sessions thank you